Stonehouse is one of the larger elementary schools in Williamsburg, James City County with 730 students. We have 32 classroom teachers, 24 student support specialists, and um, 13 paraprofessionals, give or take, within our building. When I first heard about the Blue Ribbon School nomination last year, I wasn't 100% sure what that meant or what it entailed. And then as we went through the application process and we realized what a true honor it was to be nominated, it was just something that we had to pursue. And we know how special we are and we were excited for everyone else to see how special we are. It was about a 16 page narrative that we wrote and submitted where they asked for information regarding the history of our school, our academic programs, our extracurricular programs, and we highlighted a lot of our community involvement because that's a big thing here at Stonehouse. It's um, part of what makes us unique is just the sheer number of volunteers and the events that bring in people from across the community. Recognized for being an exemplary school, we have um, really high SOL scores um, across the board, and while there are still gaps, they are diminishing gaps, um, and so that's something for us to be really proud of. Our support staff here is also phenomenal and deserve recognition because they go above and beyond to do everything they can to help the students and the teachers, and they now all work within the classrooms. We don't have any clerical assistance. Everybody's working with students all day, every day. Um, the hardest thing, I think, for any school is finding a way to work your master schedule so that there is time for common collaboration, um, common planning time. And so, especially with special education, that was the, the year that we were recognized was the year that we had the biggest um, jump in our scores for our students with special needs. And I really think a lot of that is because there was increased time for the special education teachers to plan with the general education teachers. And that really makes a big difference. And so many of our teams started doing a real co-teaching model um, and our students reap the benefits. There is very much a family atmosphere here and I know that that can be said about a lot of schools, but I think because the faculty was handpicked by the founding principal when the school opened and we still have a pretty large percentage of, of teachers who are here um, from the opening, that culture um, that was established when the school opened still remains. As soon as I entered the building of Stone House when they were just constructing it, everybody was a family. It was people from different schools. We all came together at Stonehouse and we have been friends, family members, ever since the very beginning. Not only do we go the extra mile for each other to try to plan together and come together as a team um, within your, your team level, but then also as a, an entire faculty. And then to also go the extra mile for the students too. So after school tutoring, backpack programs, small counseling groups, all, all the things that make these kids have uh, an experience just outside of the regular school day it really makes this place a special place to work as, as a faculty member and for our students too. When we think of student success, it might be something that's not even academic in nature at all, but there's always a team approach and everyone pulls together for the good of the kids. So we don't always think of SOLs when we think of student success stories. We have plenty of other measures for that within the building. This year our focus is really going to be on how do we go from being an excellent school to an exceptional school because we're already up here, we're kind of at the top in the cream of the crop and that's wonderful but there's a whole new sense of pressure and purpose as to how do we take the kids who are here and get them up even higher while still reaching the ones who are low and bringing them up with the rest. So it's really what can we do to continue this drive and this moving forward, which gets harder as you get higher. I think that I can honestly wholeheartedly say out of 17 years in education, the level of professionalism and the drive to always do more and do better by every single person within this building is unparalleled. Teachers also seek out additional opportunities to develop themselves in um, literacy and learning and they um, participate in Williamsburg Area Reading Council and other outside opportunities for professional development. I just have never seen the drive that I have seen here by everyone within the building to always do more and do better for our students.